Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Horizon. My name is Marlo from Explorminate, and we were forging relationships here when we left off. We were um, cheesing some people off, like uh, the Tantic here, who probably are going to want to kill us soon, and these crystalline guys who don't seem to like us no matter what we do. Uh, so... Why don't we check and see what's going on on Earth. I think we were trying to build a cruiser. Yes, that's right. We're building some scouts that will help us uh, uh, to defend ourselves. We, we militarized uh, the scout design a little bit. So hopefully that will, uh, hopefully that will help um, at least deter the Tantic. Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready to fight them yet, but I really would like to not get bulldozed by them too. So, um, we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Now we've got a colonizer here. What is this colonizer doing? It's colonizing Kayla 6. I hope. Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. And it may be that we started up the game just in time to hit in turn. That does happen quite a bit uh, with these things. Mars is still doing not much of anything. Uh, keep doing your thing, Mars. One day we'll know how to terraform, I hope. Um, same with Pluto. Uh, we're upgrading our research facilities. Um, I did not mean to click on that. And uh, as far as research, uh, we are researching our way down these tech trees here. We're researching multiple things at the same time. Currently our focus, however, is in construction technology. And we'll leave it there for now. And um, then we'll kind of see where we are once we get down through there. So, let's hit in turn and see if anything interesting happens. Hey, major progress has been made in Air Bomber. So, that's outstanding. And we've finished a Scout 4, which is our militarized uh, scout ship. So, uh, let's take a look at our text, and let's get Hovercraft, and we should get that momentarily. Which is great. Um, now, we'll leave the Scout 4 kind of in its own fleet for right now. When the other Scout 4s pop out, we will hopefully... Um, be able to put them in the, in the fleet with it. Our, our ship's range has extended quite a bit as we've researched our technologies, which is great. We're be able to we're going to be able to scout some stars that we haven't been able to reach before. So that's uh, that's good. Um, seriously, tell you what, please colonize Kayla Six. Thank you. And, okay, finally we have established a new outpost. Uh, here we go. And we'll skip through a little that a little bit. Uh, Kayla 6, uh, we'll leave the name the same. And we'll go ahead and upgrade it to a colony as quickly as possible. Our colonizer, we will send home. Uh, we do need to build more star bases, but at the moment, uh, we just don't have a... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, colonies. Colonies. There we go. At the moment, we just don't have a system that has enough industrial output to build a, no, another star base in any kind of reasonable uh, time frame. So... You know, we're going to have to work on that. Uh, the plus side, though, is everything is making us money right now except Kayla 6. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. Let's check out this system right here. we got poor resources. We're working on factories there. We could buy them. Why don't we do that? That seems 20 turns uh, for 1.5 billion credits. That seems like a good idea. All right, we're going to upgrade the industrial uh, facilities here on Kippa and why not we'll do it there too 
Um, problem is we have a lot of poor planets. We don't have a lot of good production planets. So it's uh, that's the tricky part. Uh, hey, we've got a fellow uh, Steam group member uh, playing uh, Endless Legend, an excellent game if you get a chance to play it. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to find a way to expand our uh, star bases because we're going to need more, um, we're going to need more command points. And I think, well, we could research more logistics. Why don't we look at that? Where is logistics? Anybody see it? Oh, here it is down here. Hmm... Uh, why don't we put our focus in that? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if that makes a difference here in, in a turn or or three. Um. All right, factories were built on uh, Yalan three. That gets our. We could build a star base in forty four turns. Isn't that outstanding? Um. We could build one. I'm just kind of clicking through the the our colonies here to see where we could build a um, a star base the fastest. That's Earth, where we already have one. 200 turns. That's really not cost effective. 44, 44, 44. Um, all right. So one of these for 44 is about the best we can do. Uh, let's do it in Kippa because we do at least have abundant resources here. Yeah, let's let's do this. Um, could we buy that? We can, but then we can't afford the thing. Let's go ahead and hit build on the star base. It eats up most of our money, but well, the money doesn't really do us anything good if we don't spend it. So. Um, okay. Alright, we hold control and left click to merge, and we now have a fleet. That's nice and easy, easier than I thought it was going to be. So now we have a fleet of two um, of these militarized scouts. We're down to ten command points. Uh, so we should be able to build the rest of our scouts, and I think even the cruiser, uh, before we run out of command points. I think running out of command points is pretty is bad. Um, I also think oh, we just don't have the money to upgrade our industry anymore here. So there's just not much we can do about that right now. Um, have we, we... we're scouting still but we're we're now scouting in areas where it's taking us a long time to uh, reach, a longer time to reach places. Let's uh, have a little FaceTime with, uh... oh, they're out of communication range. Hey, that's not the worst thing in the world that could happen. Um, why don't we communicate with the Lesgoon? Hey, let's be friends. Um, I'm going to try to give them more technology uh, in an effort to make them like me more. Um, I'm not going to give them any of that stuff. Alright, that was fun. Uh, okay, can we communicate with you? We have trade routes with you, so... Um, okay. Now, in other games I've played, just actually talking to them, even if you don't do anything, the game notices that you've clicked around, basically, and um, you get some positive points for that. Um, I don't know if this game does that or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but just in case, it's it's a pretty low investment of our time and energy to do it, so we might as well. Yeah, they're just not going to like us very much because we took these systems up here. Um, I'm still somewhat considering giving them this system to see if that would help. Because, number one, it's not doing a whole lot for us. I mean, it's producing some research, so, you know, that's nice. But it's a poor planet, 
it's just it's just not doing a lot for us. So we'll we'll cons we'll consider that some more. Um, uh oh, relations with the Tantic have taken a turn for the worse as as hostilities reach a new level. Uh oh, great, they're hostile. Uh, okay, let's see what they have. Um. I have no idea what this does. I've never done this before. So, this is new. I'm not sure, uh, what the purpose of this is. Okay, that was fun. Um. Okay, that's just when we first encountered them. Um, well, that doesn't tell us much, does it? We could declare war, but we can't talk to them. Uh, the Lesgoon are starting to like us more for reasons passing understanding. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen with that. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm enjoying the fact that our space is conveniently far away from from theirs uh, at the moment. And these are both poor planets, of course. Oceanic, poor, Arctic, we don't know. We didn't survey that one. That's okay. I don't want to, I want to stay away from these guys for right now, at least until we get some more of our ships built, right? We need to be able to defend ourselves and uh, still got 10 turns left on the cruiser, which I, I don't like. I wish that would be faster. Um, there's not much we can do about it right now. Uh, hey, we got an achievement. Noah's assistant. I have no idea what that means. Yep, no idea what that means. Okay. If anybody knows what that means, if you want to post that in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, some of our scouts have reached uh, empty systems, apparently. Uh, let's... Hello. Uh, let's move you there. And what about here? We've got two gas giants, so nothing exciting there. Let's issue a move order to... Let's go to that orange star there. And... Uh, didn't I have another scout somewhere? Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, and we're now earning 2.4 billion credits per turn. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the only place that's costing us any money at all is Kayla uh, 6, and that's because it's still a new colony. We could spend a little money and make it... Uh, you know what, though? We're going to let it ride because it actually will cost us more money uh, once, that ha once that happens. All right. We've made progress in log in logistics um, okay so does that give us any more points than we had before a little bit nothing wrong with that um, Having good targeting systems could become very important very soon. Um, I'm worried about the Tantic down here is really what I'm thinking about and uh, how unhappy they are with us. Um, so we need to start preparing for that, which is one of the reasons why we're building warships, to hopefully keep them away. Okay, we've got a colony here, so let's first things first, let's build some food. Let's build some trade. Let's build some industry. Research, maybe not. Entertainment, sure. Um, I see no reason not to build 
kind of all the basic buildings uh, on a planet. I can see why maybe you wouldn't build um, every building on a planet. Um, but uh, I see no reason not to build the basic ones on every colony. If anybody knows a reason why I shouldn't, please tell me, because so far it seems like kind of the obvious thing to do. Um, but I'm, you know, certainly no expert on this game, so it's entirely possible that I'm wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, I skipped the video. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll go back and look at it. Okay, here's the Barbeck. Um, they are a bizarre-looking race. They don't seem to like us very much. All right, during our last exploration, the crew fell ill to a mysterious virus that quickly spread throughout the ship. Our medical staff was unable to treat it. Unbeknownst to us, a nearby Barbeck vessel happened to be monitoring our situation and came to our aid. They discovered that toxic space fungi had attached itself to the hull of our ship. They offered to help cure our crew for a sample of those fungi, to which we readily agreed. It seems that the Barbecks have a greater uh, understanding of the herbal medicine and environmental science. Uh, apparently, we, as naturalists, they regularly send out science pods into space to find unknown organic matter for study. But over time, some of these pods have gone missing. Um, they've made it known to us that if we were to recover any of these pods, they'd be very grateful. Now, alright, we made major progress in antimatter uh, engines. Um, I seem to recall that such a pod... that we found such a pod at this system. Did we not? I thought we did. Yeah, there's a science pod beacon here. I uh, don't know what we do about that. Maybe if we... Um, let's... Uh, well, let's go to the report. I accidentally clicked through the... Uh, the video because I didn't know what was happening. So let's watch this so we can see their ships. Which is kind of fun. I have to say, there's the, the ship designs that I've seen so far in this game I have found to be uh, quite original and uh, all interesting looking and, and uh, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. Alright. They're isolationist, passive, and agrarian. So let's try to be friends. Let's communicate with them and offer them a friendly greeting. Um, let's make an offer. Do you have any... Hey, would you like a useless technology? Alright. Let's have a trade treaty. Oh, that was fun. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. Um... But, you know, here's what I don't really know how to do. Um, so, we have these quests here. Okay, board the... Yeah, I'm still not doing that one. Um, so, they're looking for a cure. The Harkon are looking for the... Christ we were supposed to kill the Crystal Guardian. Um, they're lost pods containing rare specimens. Now see... We have... Okay, this is the tactical view of the system, which we haven't really looked at yet. Does it show us where the pod is? I thought that the pod was... Uh, was in the neighborhood of our colony here on Kippa 2. But I don't know, honestly. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to send the fleet um, uh, 
we're going to send the fleet to the Kippa system to see if they can find it. Alright, and we're going to move him back to Kayla, the colonizer to Kayla, uh, because there are other ships, uh, there's another planet here that would be colonizable for us. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this is the Barbex area of space. We won't hang around, we'll continue scouting. We don't want to make a nuisance of ourselves, we want to be friendly with them if we can. Um, helps keep the money rolling in and money is good all right barbex have learned the secrets of right okay so that just shows this the trade deals that we did on the last turn and I'm hoping that when our scouts get to the Kippa system we might be able to interact with this probe in some way and complete one of these quests because quite honestly I don't really know how to do that um, Major progress has been made in titanium armor. That's great. Um, we've got a colony, sh uh, excuse me, a scout ship that has arrived here. There's, uh, there's a desert planet here. Why don't we? I tell you what, we're here. Let's survey the planet. Might as well. Might as well. Um. Oh, there's a Barbeck colonizer coming for our system. What type of planets do they like? Oh, they like Terran planets. And they like desert planets. Their home world is a desert planet. So they may like very similar planets to to us. Um, right, so not surprisingly the Barbex got here before us. Uh, we can't go that far, but we can... oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, we can get down here, so we will. Now down here we discovered this no, we're still surveying, apparently. Um, okay, now we've surveyed it. It's a poor planet, and so um, it's not that interesting. Let's move on to this system. Now, let's take a look at our technology. I think... Universal Translator might be good to give us a boost uh, to our diplomatic actions, which, of course, our race greatly relies on. Okay, our fleet has arrived at its destination. And uh, let's see. Let's have the fleet uh, survey. Has already been surveyed. Okay. Let's have it survey the system. Maybe not. I don't know. If anybody knows how to do this, uh, if you want to let me know in the comments, I would be extremely appreciative because it seems to me that we have one of these science pods here that old Cyclopses here would like to have, but I don't know how to tell them that. See, if I make them an offer, I don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do it. Hey, Harkon, uh, you want a useless technology like nuclear power generator? Sounds good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Am I missing something here? 
Now we got a Barbex Science Beacon there. Now can we move the fleet to no I don't want to do that. Um patrol, orbit, dig. Let's have it dig here. Maybe we can find it. Okay, here we go. An abandoned science pod was found on Kippa 2. The pod contains samples of a rather bright star-shaped species of plant. The data found on board call it Staridium and mention uh, that it emits a strong electrical charge which can be deadly if mishandled. Apparently ingesting the plant has a psychological effect making the user feel invincible. Um... Further study may reveal practical applications, though the Barbeck might also want the samples back. We're going to give it to the uh, Barbeck and for influence and 1.86 billion credits. All right, thank you so much for returning these samples to us. Strange that we forget them on Kippa, forget them on Kippa 2. Anyhow, we also have lost track of another pod in Sector 2. If it's not too much to ask, we'd be grateful if you return that one as well. Okay, so we completed a quest. Where the blazes is Sector 2? Anybody know? Oh, Sector 2. Sector 2's kind of big. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll just have to see if we can find it. I don't see any planets worth um, surveying in that system at the moment. Oh, there's the crystal. I don't know if I have enough ships to take the crystal or not, to be honest with you. Um, I really don't know what it would take. So... If anybody knows the answer to that, it'd be cool to know. Um, I'm hesitant to throw my small fleet up against that, just because I don't know uh, what's going to happen. The population of the Barsig exceeds everybody else. We're in the middle of the pack. Tantic are ahead of us, but not by much. Relations with the Barbex have improved considerably. Let's check that out, shall we? We're friendly. That's great. Uh, I think that means we're in the middle of friendly. So, nothing wrong with that. Harkon, what do you want from us? Seriously. I mean, there's just nothing I can do for you, buddy. I don't know. What's your little quest? Oh, to defeat the crystalline entity. Right, yeah. Uh, I think that we probably would get killed uh, if we did that. So, we're going to hold off on that for now. Let's check our technology research. And we are currently going after Universal Translator, which is great. Uh, colonizer has arrived at its destination. I believe that that is here. It is. We're going to colonize the Arctic world here. Or, ooh. Arctic or desert? Abundant. 1.75 billion. 5 billion abundant. Okay, we're going to do this one first. We're going to go for the Arctic one. So, yeah, do that. Okay. And Kayla 6 just built everything, so that's convenient. Uh, let's upgrade to the colony. And we have made major progress in Universal Translator, which gives us um, diplomacy of plus 14% favor. Um... All right, colonizer, you need to head home. And let's check out our technologies. Um, I'm thinking weapons would be good right now. 
When diplomacy fails, we'd like to use a little cowboy diplomacy, if you know what I mean. Um, hopefully we won't have to do that anytime soon, but on the other hand, it might be nice to see a little action in this game. Alright, the Barsigger here. There is an oceanic planet. There's two oceanic planets. Why don't we scan the larger one, just for fun. Although, it's probably bad juju to um, well to settle that planet where they already are so let's uh, so we won't do that at the moment hey look we have 34 billion credits we can and we probably should upgrade our industrial capacity here on the home world so we're gonna do that it's cost us a bunch of our money but I think that's the thing to do now our cruiser has been completed. We're gonna move the fleet back to uh, the home world and then I'm going to commission another cruiser to be... oh no I won't for another turn or two because we don't have enough money. So let's wait until we have enough money. One more turn. Tanian 7, rare biomechanical creature. Proceed with caution. Hello. That's interesting. Um, it's kind of fun to find things like that, isn't it? Uh, let's have them go there. Now, meanwhile, back on Seoul, on Earth, we're going to build another cruiser. 27 turns. That's outstanding. Uh, but hopefully that will finish no in well. Hmm. All right, so those are long-term projects. Let's look at it like that. Long-term projects. We got a colonizer here. I don't care if the barbeck colonize here personally. They can if they want to colonize that desert planet. I guess that's all right. Um you know, whatever. Uh Research facilities, one turn left, and uh, we'll just kind of let that one ride. Now, let's take a look at our colonies. We only have Pluto costing us, uh, we've got Pluto and Kayla 7 costing us money. So, uh, that's alright. That's alright. And, uh, okay, well, um, let's see. I think that's about 30 minutes. I. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't looking at my timer when we started this uh, episode, so I don't really, don't really know. Um, so uh, we're gonna let's see what's on the Delta system, and then we'll call the video. All right, we've got a couple of Terran ship uh, planets, so we're going to. Uh, oops, I just jammed my mouse into the bottom of my keyboard because, you know, I'm smooth like that. All right, we're going to give orders to survey the planet, and uh, we're going to cut the video here. So when we come back, uh, more Horizon. Until then, hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you in the next one.